Good evening, everybody. How are we all doing tonight? Um, sorry about the audio issues in part one. I realized I was coming through a little too loud once I checked the, uh, the video post. Uh, that should no longer be a problem. Hopefully, all the sound will be balanced. Just if you know, normally I do streams, and in streams I have an audience shouting at me if... the audio is balanced incorrectly. That is not... something I have... when doing a Let's Play. However, it should be fine from now on out. Anyway, where we left off, we had to go visit... our doctor friend... when... up around the corner here. As I said in the first part, I'm going to try to avoid doing too much in the way of side quests and minigames. Uh, I realized that didn't happen quite as planned in part one. So we had uh, Haruka with us. I wasted a bit of time on the old UFO catcher. And, uh, we'll try to be a bit more efficient with our time. I wonder if these ones have, uh, accessible pachinko parlors. Doctor's just up the stairs over here. I mean, I don't disagree with the sentiment here, as I said. This place really isn't appropriate for children. <laughs> but these guys are about to uh, get to inspect the pavement up real close and personal-like. Alright, this will be interesting. This will be my first experience with the combat engine in this game. What techniques do we have available to us? Freeform. Uh, less, less tracking and more actual freeform uh, where you're sending the punches. Uh, that's working the same. That's working the same. And that's working the same. Good to know. Oh, okay, that's nice. You don't have to wait for them to get up, you can just pick them up, though I assume we'll get, um... Down grab attacks, you usually do. Got any other options here? Oh, I was expecting to get the beer crate. Not the beer bottle.
combat is always satisfyingly meaty in these games. Jesus. Fists getting covered in blood is pretty brutal. God damn. Uh, no, I'm good. I got the feel for it, game. Thank you. Bit more free flowing than the last one, but fairly similar still. <laughs> Haruka is just the most unflappable little girl. She has been through so much serious bullshit. Man, Kazuki's not looking so hot. Can we say hi to the dog? Oh, there he is. Also, like, having Kiryu just step in as a bouncer really doesn't build much in the way of respect. If Kiryu was there in a, like, permanent position, that would, because then it'd be a constant source of threat or shit. He'll get fucking Kiryu to come in and destroy us. But as a sort of parting thing, you can't really beat people in line, say, follow this guy, and then leave.
I'm wondering if this opens up any more of Kamruchot for us, or if we're still just locked into the immediate area. Yeah, okay, we're still just locked into this area. Well, we'll go grab another bite to eat. There's a beef bowl place, isn't it? Oh, I guess because we haven't taken any damage, we can't eat. Uh, we were able to buy Haruka and ice cream, though. So I just sort of assumed we might be able to get, like, a beef bowl or something. Oh, maybe we can now. We've got, we've got to hit them flags. A very flaggy game. Oh, that worked. I think there's another food place in the area. Uh, oh, it might just be the takoyaki stand that I'm thinking of. Well, stand. Hole in the wall. Oh, that was in zero. I don't know if that's actually here. Oh, it is. There it is. Oh, no. It's uh, the ice cream shop, not the takoyaki place. That's where the takoyaki place was. But it is not there now. What I got? Pronto, Smile Burger, Cafe or the Sushi Shop. I might take, I might take a quick walk around. This is before I've not played this, but I'm expecting the game's gonna lock us out. Um, lock us out of Kamuro Show. Well, even if it doesn't lock us out of Kamuro Show, it'll it'll lock us out of Kamuro Show plus Haruka. I don't know what, uh... Getting the trust up with Haruka does, but I'm sure we'll find out. You should not be drinking that. Too young to be drinking energy drinks. Those are not good for kids. Not good at all. Oh, the sodding dog food. Uh, don't want to go too crazy with them. Thirty-five bucks. Oh, I suppose a high-class umbrella. But damn, that's pretty expensive. I'll just grab a couple of sushi sushi sets as healing items. Normally I'd stock up on a fair bit of healing items and heat regenerators just in case of ridiculous boss fights. But, uh, we don't have much in the way of money right now. Need to play somewhat conservatively until we can start beating up street punks and taking their pocket change. There's anyone hanging about old public park three? Can we we? Isn't that? I think that's the entrance to public park three through there. It's gonna give me the fucking hi yeah you, but that's fine. Oh no, okay, we can. 
Wait, did we completely lose Haruka? Holy shit. Alright, I'll, I'll slow it down a bit, goddamn. The pathfinding is a bit dicey. I don't know, I don't think Haruka's done much in Public Park 3. We had a fairly serious discussion with uh, Date-san's daughter there. Um, Ah, that's just a hint for where the doctor's office is. Except that it gives us a quest marker as to where the doctor's office is, so... Why do you need the hint? That seems a bit odd. What does Haruka's candy do? I assume it's a sort of heal item. It would feel odd to just sort of waste a named heal item, though. I wonder if she's just going to keep eating each time we come up to a different... Uh, I don't know if she's gonna, like, flag as we get close to it. Nope. Ah. Oh. <laughs> He's not wrong! There's been two massive explosions in the Millennium Tower, two years running. Admittedly, one of them blew up and sent 10 billion yen floating down to the streets. So I'm sure people weren't complaining too loudly about that. I'm going to assume the game in here is the same. It's all just that one uh, space shooter. Well, it's not really a space shooter. Side-scrolling shooter thing. Yeah. Can we... Can't go first person in the... Ah, that's a shame. Virtual Fighter 5 would have been pretty new around this time. That was one of the early PS3 titles, if I recall. It was somewhat jank. As tends to be the case with a lot of early console titles. Can we get into Don Quixote's? I always like checking out Don Quixote's. This place does not change. <laughs> Jesus, that's a lot of noodles. $23 super glue. God damn, that must be some bloody good super glue. And super shitty beer. Where are you going, Haruka? Ah. What are you going to ask for, though? Oh, okay, that's fine. Was she going to ask for, like, boss coffee or something? Once again, you're too young to be drinking that trash. 97 cents! For a carbonated beverage. God damn. That's cheap as fuck. I suppose 2007 things were going pretty good for Japan, and 2007 
Things are going very bad for Australia. Our dollar wasn't worth shit. Oh man, it was bad times. Didn't I just buy you a drink? I suppose if you're thirsty, drinking a carbonated drink probably isn't the best way to quench it. Best off with just a bottle of water or something. Goma Mugi tea. Never heard of that. I suppose I could take her down the front of the street and see if she wants to go to the sushi parlor. If I recall correctly, actually, the sushi parlor is one of the annoying places to buy in um, RGG Zero. Because you've got to befriend the master there. And you've got to do that by just eating there continuously. I'm not, not just egg. I'd be down for some egg roll. I'm not a big fan of fish. I suppose it is seen as kids' food, but... Oh, okay. Apparently the chef takes special pride in his tamago. Two dollars! Two dollar! It's not even worth sitting me for that. <laughs> God damn, that's cheap. As I said a couple of times, I'm trying not to dash away from Haruka, but I'm not used to the sensitivity on the, uh, the DualShock 3's control stick at the moment. Oops. You'd think by this point, though, like, a lot of the street punks would be aware of who Kiryu is. Like, I can understand in, in Zero, he hasn't made a name for himself that much yet. Um, and I can understand in One, because he's been in jail for ten years, no one remembers who the fuck he is. But by the point of, like, Two and Three, you think most of the punks would be... ...aware of... ...the Master of Disaster. Still don't know what trust level for her does, but it's a meter that I can raise. So I'm gonna keep raising. Oop, okay. <laughs> the progress is slowing down somewhat now. See if she wants anything from the the beef ball place this time. I'm intentionally dashing away from her to see if she'll take up a stance. Oh, she wants ice cream. Or I missed the chance. It seems the beef ball place just doesn't have a thing for her. But she does want ice cream? Yeah.
Double scoop of what? Oh, it's okay. Just gonna learn strawberry. Ice cream has a big boost. Actually, that's about the same as the other boost. It was just the uh, the seaweed rice ball was fairly ineffective. Uh, I think it's probably time we push on the story. Have a chat with Majima san. Now, is he still up at Kamurocho Heights? Is it unlocked? Okay, it has not unlocked. Because I would have guessed he would have been up the back here somewhere. Unless they gave up on the, the Kamurocho Heights development project. This is where you get your face splattered for taking the name in vain. Oh, I've got a guard. Alright, boys, come on. Come on, lads. Lock-on stance isn't much use if you don't tell me about the the dodge, because that's the best part of the lock-on stance is being able to dodge. I'm assuming it's going to tell me about that now. Yeah. Bike? No, okay. I, 
believe while it was techniques that you got in Beast Stance and uh, Zero and Q1, the ability to pick up super heavy objects is reserved for a character. I think Yakuza 4 is a character whose thing is like being able to pick up ridiculously heavy objects and and beat people to death with them. Oi, get up! Haniki? <laughs> <laughs> That's your title, not your name, buddy. I'd be curious to see if, like, his actual name is Aniki, or if that's just his, his title in this case. Okay, how much are level ups? Two bars worth, okay. Probably do want the down smash. Oh, Phoenix Spirit's always really good as well. Especially once you get, if, if, well, once, if you get the, um, Essence of the Yellow Dragon in this game, Phoenix Spirit plus Essence, essence of the Lo Yellow Dragon allows you to cheese out some really nasty boss fights. For anyone that's seen my, uh, playthrough of Yakuza 2. That was basically how I... Well, I didn't end up beating... Um, Ryuji and Gorda that way. But that technique allowed me to sort of learn his patterns a lot better by buying me time. I wonder if this is the guy that was disarming the bomb with Majima. I don't remember what his name was. Nice! That's actually really kind of the game. I was gonna say, I could just go to... Actually, I probably should. Just go to the, uh, the drug shop. Um... And stock a... Oh, we don't know. We have shit all for cash. Those, yeah, like the the big healing items are like seven seven five. Ooh, we we can actually walk around the Millennium Tower this time. This is cool. Previously, like we were able to walk around the Millennium Tower, but only as a combat zone, never as a neutral zone. 
This is kind of cool. I wonder how much of it we're allowed to explore. A fair bit, it seems, actually. This is nice. I assume we're going to be using this as a combat zone later in the game, since it's so fleshed out. Um, yeah, this is this is nice. And obviously, since they're running on new hardware, they can't just recycle assets from previous game, so they would have had to have rebuilt all this by hand. It's a good touch kind of thing I appreciate. Wasn't there more up on the roof before? Uh, maybe a different part of the building. I definitely remember the heliport, though. Soro soro, Kamuro chokara kierun ka, Kiryu chan. Ah, dakara anta o sagashite ita. Ah? Do you koto ya? Ore ana ni san, anta ni. Haven't we said that before? The texture work on Majima's jacket is a bit bad. Huh? Looks fine at a distance, but once we get up close, whew, that's very low resolution. I do quite like, uh, quite like, quite look forward uh, to the Majima side story stuff in Kiwami 2. You get to build up the Majima family. <laughs> and now his jacket's fine, and it's gone. もう<笑> I was hoping this is what it would come to. Oh, 
手加減はなしやでああ行くでNow, do we get this version of this game's mix and receive? <laughs> yep. This is cool! I get to see where his breakdance stance in Zero came from. I always like to fight Super Mario, but I always feel... They always feel good. The fight against him in the last game was great. It's my favorite fight of, of uh, IGG. Especially as it... Like, it forced you to take him on without using items, but in a way that wasn't convoluted. Well, <laughs> you probably argued that it was going having to fight him in the arena. But the arena rules were no items, so... Now, do we still have QTEs? Okay, we've got these. Oh! We've got different inputs for these now. Cool. Does that not give us heat anymore? Or do, oh, maybe I need the upgrade to... Like I can do the basic move, but I need the upgrade to actually have it give me the... Because, uh, that's quite a useful way to steal a little bit of heat every now and again. Especially on tough fights. これで俺にはそろそろ
えらいこと引き受けてしもうたなしゃあないマジマゴロ行ってやってるやないかはあめんどくさせやけどキリュウちゃんとの約束やししゃあないなうどうまちまさんおじいさんご飯まだ今真剣なんだ話しかけるんだこらダメでしょ太一痛いよ姉ちゃんご飯作ってる時は邪魔しちゃダメって言ったのにほら晩ご飯までみんなで遊んできなさいダメみんな揃ってからってルールでしょはーいうわーカレーだ早く食べたかい,いた集まったわねあ,あれ泉はえ泉ちゃんどこだろう知らないシロあんた今日学校から一緒に帰ってこなかったああ帰ってきたけどんどうしたシロ知らないのか知らないどこ行っちゃったんだろういいじゃん先に食べちゃおうよそうだよ別に大丈夫だっておじさんどうするよし探してこようお前たちは食べてていいぞはーいいただきます<laughs> the, uh, the handwritten signboard is very nice. I assume that's Oji san. I know that's O and that's G, but I'm not sure what that one is. That's N.、Mm. That's No, and I'm gonna assume that's Room. What does Reminisce do? Oh, okay. Have they just got this, like, the movie sequences from. Previous game just just loaded in there. Why not? I guess why not. Oh, actually, yeah. I was about to say we've got we got a whole bunch of upgrade points to spend. Let's go nuts. So, probably Essence 2 or Soul 2 will be our first grabs for the bigger upgrades. 
Harder to knock down in heat mode is always good. And I do so like the toss enemy on top of enemy strategy. Kazuma in a Hawaiian shirt is a bit odd. Running an orphanage would be, a, like, just a lot of work. Nice real estate, though. Really nice real estate. This place must be worth a fucking fortune. Which I assume is is why we've got the um, the subplot going down about the uh, Tojo family looking to sell the plot off. But damn, this is like this is a friggin' orphanage right on the beachfront. This is all kinds of prime real estate. I assume that's the girl we're looking for, but I'll just go futz about first. I assume that's instructions on how to do fishing. Yep, it's fishing instructions. Getting a handle on fishing minigames is always a bit fiddly. This coming from the man that cleared the fishing side quest in the original Nier multiple times. suspected that was her. Just want to do the old poke around first. Mm. How long ago did her parents ah. die? How much of this area is actually explorable? Like, there's a filled out map, so it might be later that we actually get to walk around this whole area. Which would be nice, it'd be quite a different, uh, quite a different set of scenery from the previous games, that's for sure.
私、頑張る<笑>ああ俺はお前のお父さんにはなれないでもお前がこの朝顔に来た時から家族だと思っているおじさんいずみちゃんみんなが待ってるよ朝顔に戻ろう。ほら、泣かないでもう。さあ、今日はカレーだ。戻って腹いっぱい食べよう。お前ら泉がいねえのに食べられないからなもうお腹ペコペコだよいいから早く座れこっちおいで泉ちゃん早く早くうんおじさん早く早く食べようよああよしそれじゃあいただきます Oji さん、またこれが。立ち退きって書いてあるけど、私たち出て行かないといけないのかな。最近知らない男の人たちもよく来ているみたいだし、朝顔のみんなも怖がってるんだよ。ちょっと様子を見てくれ。あ、やべえ、おえ、右入った、くる。はい Yeah, you probably shouldn't be wandering around without a shirt on in this place. Those kind of tattoos tend to be heavily frowned upon in Japan. Now, that would definitely cause talk amongst the local residents, even if he does seem like a great guy for taking care of all the kids. Anyway, that's all we have time for in this part. Thanks for watching everyone and hopefully I'll see you all next time.